Okay, so in the previous video, we talked about thermistor and thermocouple and also liquid and glass thermometer. And also when you talk about liquid and glass thermometer, they have four different properties you can describe. So uh, let's try to do practices on that and look at your note page 13. Here is a past paper question and also the next page, there is also another question. So pause the video, try it yourself. A few moments later. So the first question said that there's nitrogen, water, and copper. Uh, they are now heated up from 20 degrees Celsius to 50. Apparently, they are kind of representing three states: solid, liquid, and gas. So here they ask which one will have greater expansion, and apparently, it's going to be the one that is gas form here. So nitrogen. Part two asks you to explain uh, why, in terms of how the molecules are arranged. So you need to go through all three substances apparently. You can see that nitrogen, okay, which is gas, uh, the molecules are free to move. Okay, while for the other two, right, which is liquid and solid then you can see that their molecules are uh, experiencing attractive force okay or you can use the word bonding right there's bonding between liquid and solid and therefore they are not uh, expanding as much part two is just showing a thermometer and asking you more like definition simply so uh, for sensitivity, you can phrase it as how much movement of the liquid along the tube in terms of distance per unit temperature change. Per unit temperature change means for each, for example, degree Celsius. Whenever you increase one degree Celsius, uh, how much of the length will be increased? So these words, I think you should learn uh, in science and try to apply them. The next one is about linearity, and that is about the change of liquid length again or distance uh, is constant okay or it may say equal for all temperature degree next one here we've got a, a solar panel and also a thermal couple so uh, again rarely you see this uh, in the exam and therefore I try to find an example for you so here is that X is a copper wire and if you remember we need to have another metal right it must be metal it cannot be plastic or glass so for Y uh, you would need to suggest another metal like iron uh, or aluminum or anything you can think of so as long as it's not copper then that's fine for Z, if you remember, uh, the component is called galvanometer. Right? This is to measure this very small current. So in other words, you may also use ammeter, but since the current is going to be very small, you have to use something called the milli or micro ammeter or milli voltmeter will also be okay. Part B asks you to explain how it works basically to measure temperature. So you have to say that the keywords, okay, you should arrange it in a sentence. Cold junction is the known temperature, okay, such as zero degrees Celsius. And then the uh, when there is a temperature difference. between cold and hot junction 
a current will or you can say voltage will be produced you can say one more thing that is uh, used the reading to determine the temperature difference okay so apparently with greater temperature difference between cold and hot junction then the reading will be greater like what we just mentioned earlier so part C is something related to the heat transfer method earlier it asks you what sort of surface would cause the temperature rise the most for this solar panel so if you recall uh, when it absorbs the solar energy then apparently you want to use dull black right? cause it's a good absorber of radiation uh, here you don't have to explain because it's just one mile and also notice that the command word is called describe the nature only so you can just say the color is dull black 